Hello guys, it's Dark Super here and uh, welcome today to a new Simapoli tutorial. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to make some IK splines in uh, Cinema 4D, uh, same that uh, same as I make uh, the arms. But let me hide this. The arm for uh, my Iron Golem. It's really easy, and you can use it uh, like a spline, and you can also stretch it. You can use like a spline. You can control others. Can also control others part of uh, arms or the in inside bone. Also rotate the other bones. And uh, yeah, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so for this tutorial, we are going to need some joints. And yeah, let me first create some joints. And okay, 15, 15. It's 15, the nice. Okay, uh, okay. So let me just create another joint. Okay, so now that we have created these joints, we need to create a spline. That's why it's called IK spline because it works with splines. So what you're gonna do is click on spline here, the spline object and click to linear linear drawing but first first to draw some splines we need to enable the snapping and click to work plane snap or polygon snap, axis snap it's not important, I'm just uh, clicking the grid and the polygon snap so now I need to click the point on the grid like the joints that are in the the project disable the snap and as you can see I have an spline here make it with uh, some points okay so if you want if I want I just click the spline I need to I just go on command smash and I subdivide it for all the subdivision, but I don't need it now. And uh, now we can go to, on, uh, in our joint. We can click uh, right click and uh, select on character tags IK spline. Okay, so he here's the basic uh, of the IK spline. You can see for uh, tag handles display. This is not important. This and these are the most important. So for first, you need to drag the spline here, the spline that we make it, and you need to drag the end of the joint. So this is the end. Next, if you want it like a normal spline, you need just to click on handles, add a joint, and here you can see the the index. That that's why. He, he chose the goal of this spline that we want to move. How it work? Okay, if I see one, you, ha you have uh, uh, just six joints. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I want that goal, I just need to click five. Zero is the first goal, so we need to start at zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, and uh, five. And I need to create. This is the final, the final spline. And if we move it, you can see that it's moving the point of the, the spline. So this is basically how how this IK spline works. Okay, so now it's not finished yet because if you if we want to stretch like a uh, goal, like a normal goal, we need to change something on the tag of the IK spline. First, if we want just to 
rotate the goal or we can choose equal to scale the bow the bone or relative to scale and to move perfectly the bones as you can see next we need to don't don't move the aline spline because it's not important if you, you see and uh, let me just okay tangent is just for other goals type and yeah okay so twist if you want to twist the spline you just need to move the twist to word and as you can see the spline is moving always follow the first joint the first goal let me rename it and we can yeah we can move the the yeah the frame or we can click object and with objects uh, the first spline will move the next will move uh, divided the next divided by two yeah it's a bit it's a bit like an expresso but I don't need it. Next, uh, if I want to add new handles, I just need to click here and I can move. And as you can see, now I've got the second point of this joint. It seems like an, yeah, like an arm, but uh, different. the difference is that we can move it it's just a point of the spline uh, tag or goal if we delete the goal and we create let me move, create every single goal let me move six. now you can see that I have the goal for the final uh, for the final two bones let me just create a cube and uh, 15 to 6 ok ok nice and move it to 31 75 31.75 okay let me add some some segments okay that's nice now if I bind the joints to the spline to the cube sorry if if we see now it's not perfectly binded, I need to rebind it, but now don't you worry about it. Yeah. If I move now the spline, you can see that it's just moving the the spline points. Yeah, it's not the best that Cinema 4D has created, but it's nice. It's just for making uh, some animations and other things. As you can see, it's also stretching. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. Hope you like it. And if you like the video, just uh, support me clicking uh, the like button below. Hope you like this tutorial, and uh, we'll see in another tutorial, another video. Bye bye, guys.